the last two games, terrific. Can't fault them, apart from putting the ball in the back of the net, which is the biggest biggest thing that wins your football matches. Reflections on the match, Jonathan? I thought we deserved to win the game. I thought we had the best chance in the game. I um, thought we controlled the game of how we pressed. Uh, we deserved the victory, to be honest with you. I think we, we'd all say exactly the same. I think there's partly down to the obviously there's the chances, but there's, there's partly a believing issue, you know, because the game seemed to be there for the taking, particularly the second half, you know, just getting that goal again. Just getting the goal, but we're creating chances. Have you seen the last two games? We're creating chances to score goals. Um, it's a big thing for me, and I thought the performance was very, very good. Big call to go with that up front in place of Brit. What was the thing behind that? Uh, not really, just because Brits played every single minute more or less of and I just thought take him out the firing line give um, give Fletcher a go it was always the, the plan more or less for Brit to get 20 or 30 minutes um, and we could have got the goals we could have had the goals Did Brit just lack a bit of confidence at the moment is that part of the process? I'm not, I'm not sure but there's one thing for sure I'll be staying with the pair of them the my players uh, and I'll back them when they play good when they don't play good or when they miss chances or when they score chances. I'll stick by my players who are thick and thin. Sorry, what's the situation with Darren? Darren's got a thigh strain. Um, I'm not sure how long he's going to be out for. But like I said about Ainsley Pear's performance, didn't have much to do on the night. But what he did do, he uh, he did really well. His concentration levels for a goalkeeper were terrific. He's got a father there and Stephen will give him um, exceptional advice. Um, so I thought he was really good. Terms of no. Nationally, nationally, North in the last two seasons, a big step up. Yeah, but I've got belief in him. I've got belief in him. He's been second choice all season. So I've got belief in him from that point of view. He's challenging with Tommy Mahers um, for that spot. So I was never frightened to put him in. I slept really well last night, to be honest with you, knowing that he was playing. I've got confidence in him. For him, personally, it's a clean sheet. He hasn't been on the end of the season. No, he hasn't. But we defended a lot better and we pressed a lot better. So, so that was a good thing. I'm surprised no one lazy done because he did well in pre-season, didn't he? Not one bit. Not one bit. Maybe, yeah, maybe so. The performance tonight, yeah. Maybe so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, maybe so. That's how it goes. Um, but my players are giving me performances. The last two games, terrific. Can't fault them, apart from putting the ball in the back of the net, which is the biggest... Biggest thing that wins your football matches. We'll get there. We'll get there, and we'll keep on working as we're working. Um, we'll keep on doing what we're doing. I'll keep on believing in my players. Do you think the big conference Yeah, these are a Premier League. These are these are Premier League players. They were all in the Premier League last year. Um, Danny's done well with them since he's come in. They've, they've played some some really good football, um, and he's got them working hard. So it was always going to be a tough game, but I thought we were the better team. Just on, on Darren, sorry, has he got a chance for the weekend? Not sure yet, not sure. Yeah, not sure on that one. I don't know how long he'll be, he might not make the Island game, he might not make next week, I don't know how long he's going to be, we'll have to go through the scans in more detail. How did he do it, sorry, did he train? Uh, what, it was, he was saw coming back from international duty and he played against West Brom and he was sore with it, so I think he's had it for a bit of, bit yeah. of time. Just in terms of the last two games, obviously you only got a point from those two games. How important did you build on these encouraging performances? Yeah, the players know. I said, I said to the players at the end of the, at the end of the game and before the game, play like you did against West Brom, and you got every chance of winning the game. It was true. All we needed to do was put our chances away. Ayala had two blinders, and Danny scores can score nine goals in this league from centre back like he's done before. We need to get we need to put the chances in. It'll turn, it'll turn. I, I truly believe that, but really, really pleased with my performance. Do you feel like you had the fans with you tonight with those, your half that stand was full of fans? Fans have never been away. Fans have always been good to me. All right, the morning grow now and again, but who doesn't? You morning grow at your missus every night, don't you? Every night. Exactly. <laughs> That's the last point I was making tonight. You could hear them in the second half really getting behind the lads. Yeah, they were, they were brilliant because they're not stupid. They can see the performance we're putting in. They can see how we play. They can see that the performances will come. You can see after the game when we were all clapping them. They knew exactly how we played and how we, how we should have won that game.